Okay, so we'll go for our uh, pass here. Okay, we look at our pass here. Pass here, topic 3, numerical method. Show that. So that this equation, so that we are given a non-linear equation. So this is our non-linear equation. This asks us to show first, has at least one real root. Okay, one real root in the interval 1, 2. So hence, only using Newton Rational method to show that the iterative equation of the roots is, uh, so the formula is like this, when n equals to 0, 1, 2, where x node is the initial value. So we can refer back our notes here. Okay, we refer back our roots here. When we want to show you, this is non-linear equation. Okay, so we are given a non-linear equation. Uh, in order to find the solution, we have two methods, either graphical method or algebraic method. So obviously, I will more like to use algebraic method. Okay, so you can see our algebraic method, they say show at least one root in the interval of 1, 2. Means that you can see here, uh, so we are going algebraic method. We have, we have interval 1, our uh, x value 1, from x value 1 to x value 2. So we have to substitute into our function so that we can see the changing of the sign. Uh, difference answer means positive answer, negative answer. Then from there, uh, we can prove that this equation uh, that has at least one root in between that value uh, at least and in between that value so this will be our 3.1 concept then they say hence you new using the Newton Rational method so we're going to use this idea okay we substitute to this i this function okay we substitute our function we substitute our differential function so that they ask us to show that our formula can our formula of the iteration iteration equation inter, interactive means our process of repeat uh, just now we, I, we said our x value that we get here we were going to when you get new x we're going to substitute when you get another new x we're going to substitute uh, you get another new x we substitute so the process of repeating substitute and substitute substitute we call it is iterative okay the process of iterative so so that equation is this so means that before before we use this generate uh this general formula from Newton Rational method, we have to simplify the formula until we get this. Okay, so until we get this, then only then only we will going to uh solve it. Okay, going to solve it. What is our x value here? Okay, so first we are going to find out. Showing our equation has the real root between 1 and 2. Take a minute, yeah. Okay, so for our equations, what we need is our function. So you notice that we are using fx, it's not using equation. So how to change equation to a function, we will move it so that we equals to zero. So from the equation, ln x plus 3x equals to 6, we will move it to the left hand side so that equals to zero, then we will obtain our function. Uh, so our function will be ln x plus 3x minus 6. That will be our function. So in order to use algebraic method, okay, we are going to substitute the interval value first interval value it will be f1 okay so we write the process of substitution value x equals to 1 then you press your calculator okay so you press your calculator was your ln 1 
and then plus 3 times 1 plus uh, no, minus 6. So we get negative. So remember when you get negative, you put a sign here. This is less than 0 to show that this uh, this function, this y value is less than 0, which is negative. So another function value when x equals to 2. When we substitute 2 into the function here, it will become ln 2 plus 3 times 2 minus 6. Okay, so either we can change inside here. Zero point six nine. So make sure we have enough significance six nine three one four seven. You can see at calculator. So we will put six three three significance. So this is positive. We make a size here, sign here, greater than zero. So we can see we managed to get the result. Since our result one is positive, one is negative, having negative, uh, having opposite sign. So from here we can prove that at least the axis are good in between a and b so from here we can do a conclusion say that so this conclusion sentence always similar since fx is less than zero then f2 is more than zero the having has opposite sign So there exists at least one root in the in the world of one two. So we can follow back the the sentence from our question. So that will be our first part. Okay, showing showing this. So how to get the marks here, we can see. So actually the concept is the first one. Okay, uh, substitute one. Another concept, substitute another value interval two. So that we can prove this. There is at least one root between interval one and two. Then they say hence. Hence, okay, so we're going to solve another part. So means using this information, we know that we already have a root, means have a value of x between 1 and 2, but we don't know what is exactly that value yet. So we can use Newton Raphson method to show that uh, to show that the interactive equation is like this. Okay, so for Newton Raphson method, what we need is our function. So we already found our function just now, which is ln x plus 3x minus 6. And what we need is differential function. So we need to differentiate this thing. When we differentiate ln, suddenly is equal root, differentiate near the atas. So when we differentiate 3x, we get 3. When we differentiate numbers, we get 0. And, okay, so how can we prove our Newton lesson method can be simplified until this form? Okay, so we use back the general formula when we have x plus 1. It will equal to, so this is our Newton Raphson formula, xn function over differential function. x plus 1 equals to xn and then minus function over differential function. Okay, so what is our xn here? Uh, so this is our initial value we are not given, so we are not going to find our x value because they ask us to show this equation first so this Newton Raphson method formula can be simplified so we were going to substitute our function which is ln sn plus 3 sn minus 6 so this is our function and our differential function will be 1 over sn plus 3 so simplify this until we can prove that uh, it's equals to this kind of format. Okay, so how are we going to simplify this thing? 
So we have all fraction over fraction we have you can see kita ada pecahan per peringkat so kita simplifykan pecahan di sini dulu okay so for denominator part we are going to get get same to the denominator so that it will become like this so 3 will time as n and then when we have uh, Fraction over fraction, uh, so it, this divided by fraction means we're going to inverse it. Okay, so when you see here, when we divide by 1 plus 3 Sn over Sn, so actually we are going to multiply sn over 1 plus 3 sn so therefore our numerator here will multiply by sn denominator will remain 1 plus 3 sn so from here we're going to simplify some more until we can get the format that we want. So you can see this is fraction. This is not so we get same to the denominator again. So Sn will go into time 1 plus 3 Sn. Then minus Sn. I don't have enough space. Okay. Sn times 1 plus 3 Sn, then minus Sn. Okay, so here we can, I think we can expand. Uh, we can expand so that we can, later on we can factorize out our Sn. Okay, so I will expand straight away. Sn ln Sn, and then plus minus negative times positive, negative 3 sn square then positive 6xn over 1 plus 3 sn so you can notice that we get our denominator part already just numerator part we have to factorize our sn so that we can simplify our things okay So we try to factorize our Sn. Okay, so this is the things we want to factorize out. Sn, factorize out, factorize out. So here, factorize out 1, factorize out 1. So once I factorize, inside here, 1 plus 3 Sn minus ln Sn minus 3 Sn plus 6. Okay, so we will notice that our 3 Sn can be simplified. And then 1 plus 6 will become 7. So where our n can be stuck with initial 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, and so on. So this is how we prove the things. Okay, so in order to prove this thing, our differential equation will get one mark. Then how we simplify? Okay, how we simplify? So this stage, how we simplify until we manage to prove our Newton Rational method uh, can be in the form of sim sim the simplest form of this equation. So this this question only asks us to show the equation only. We're not going to find out the x value. So that will be our questions. Uh, 22.